in 1939, Broadway raised the curtain on a new kind of showstopper, a unique museum that brought the newspaper feature, believe it or not, to shocking three-dimensional life. The auditorium, as it was called, was the latest incarnation of the popular multimedia brand that for two decades had mesmerized the nation with an encyclopedic pageant of one-of-a-kind wonders, arcane trivia, and homespun Americana. Now you can just imagine somebody reading this stuff in their daily paper and their mind, their mind is blown. <laughs> the cartoon introduced Americans to a paper hanger with one arm. The fakirs of India, piano playing dogs, and a ham seller named Sam Heller. It was almost as if you were to take this enormous confetti of data and put it into a food processor and push high until it blew up and splattered all over the page. And then you wrote, believe it or not, by Ripley. The feature was the brainchild of Robert Ripley, a shy, bucktoothed sports cartoonist who traveled to the ends of the earth, collecting curiosities for his eager audiences. Human beings have an appetite for the strange for the odd, the unusual, the grotesque, the fantastic. And I think he intuitively understood that. Tonight's broadcast of a holy man from India as he actually walked barefoot over red hot coals of fire. Right. Ripley was constantly searching, searching, searching. He had a fever for finding new odd things. He loved it. One of the appeals of Ripley was that he was kind of a regular guy. He was part world traveler, part hasty, which people often called him. He was not a likely person to become a superstar. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's program is one of the most astounding I've ever attempted. Believe it or not. <laughs> 